Hello everybody, welcome to another skills exercise review. I'm Joe Carswell and this one is called our chalk line squaring exercise. We're going to use a 3-4-5 triangle, use a tape measure and get this done. So let's get right into it. So to start with, I am using a smaller version of this to demonstrate it today to get it on camera. Keep in mind the plans, if you pull your plans up, they're going to call for a 3-4-5 triangle made with three feet four feet and five feet for the three sides of the triangle. I'm going to use a modified version of that. If you remember from our lesson, you can take three, four, five and multiply it times any number and then use those units to, to construct this triangle. I'm going to multiply my inches by five. So my three inch or my three side is going to be 15 inches. That's three times five. My longer leg is going to be four times five. That's going to be 20 inches. And then my hypotenuse is going to be five inches times the five. So that's 25. So my rectangle or my will end up as a 15 by 20. And then my diagonals are going to end up being 25 inches. Let's start with step one of this process. We need to create our bottom leg of this triangle. That's the short one. In my case, that's 15 inches. In your case, that's going to be three feet. So I'm going to make a mark anywhere. That's my starting point. From that starting point, I am going to measure to 15 inches. And my 15 inches is going to bring me to right here. So that is going to be my mark. That defines my lower leg of my triangle. So let's go ahead and chalk a line there. And I'm using the edge of my board here. You will be ha you will have two people doing this. So someone will hold it directly on this mark. So I have my first leg of my triangle. That's our three in our three, four, five triangle. Now I'm going to do the longer leg of the triangle. In this case, I'm going to use a 20 inch uh, length for this one. And we don't know exactly where this point is going to end up. So I'm going to sweep an arc. And if you look at, let's see here, if you look at step number two, it's showing you this process. I'm going to take this tape measure and I'm going to swing it in an arc with a pencil on one end of it. So I'm going to hold this at my 20 inches. And then as I swing this pencil at my 20 inch mark, it's going to leave an arc. That is a curved line. So anywhere on that line is 20 inches. Now, if I do the B step of my, uh, my triangle here, it's going to pull it from this other point here. This is going to define the length of my hypotenuse. In my case, that's 25 inches. In your case, if you're using uh, the three, four, five method, yours is going to be 60 inches. And as I'm holding it on 25 inches, I can also mark an arc there. And lo and behold, those two arcs are going to intersect in one specific place. And let's go ahead and chalk these lines and we'll talk about this. There's my longer leg. I've gone ahead and put a nail here to hold my, my hook. You will be doing this with another partner. You'll be two students together. So someone will be holding one end and someone will be holding the other end and snapping this line. So we're going to have a line right there. And that is going to define my three, four, five triangle. Let's verify that we have a 90 degree angle in our three, four, five triangle. I'm going to use a framing square and we're going to lay this in here right up on those lines. And we know that this is a right angle and my lines are in perfect alignment with those two sides. So now we know that our three, four, five, if we do it correctly, we do it accurately. We end up with a 90 degree angle between those two legs. So just to review a three, four, five triangle has a proportion between the short leg, the longer leg and the hypotenuse of three, four and five. In my case, I multiplied each one of those numbers by five. So my short leg was 15, my longer leg was 20, and my hypotenuse was 25. If we can achieve those three lengths, we can guarantee that we have a 90 degree angle in this corner. 
Let's go ahead and create a rectangle out of this 345 triangle that we've made. We know that this side is 20 inches. We could we need to create a 20 inch side on this side. So I'll go ahead and pull my tape over here and I'm going to mark my arc over here like I did before on the other side. So I'm going to swing my arc. Any point on this arc is going to be 20 inches. And now we don't have to be exact. Our hypotenuse will create that exact point. So we know that our hypotenuse is 25. So I'll place my tape there and we're going to mark an arc right there at 25. And once again, we have X marks the spot wherever these two arcs meet is exactly 25 inches from this corner. And it's exactly 20 inches from this corner. As, as this goes, that mark will also be, should be 15 inches from this corner. So what we've created is a duplicate triangle that matches the first one that we did. Let's go ahead and chalk these lines and it'll be a little easier to see it. Let's go ahead and chalk this last diagonal. If you notice I have a nail there to hold this for me, you will have a partner to help you do this. So there we have now a perfect rectangle that was made from two, three, four, five triangles. Our hypotenuse here and our hypotenuse here, if we measure them, will be exactly the same at 25 inches. And then both of our sides will measure 20 inches and then 20 inches. And then our tops and bottoms should be equal, which are 15 and 15. In your case, this would be a three foot, both of these, these would be four foot lines and these would be five foot lines. One other thing to mention is if we're talking about geometry and basic geometry and construction, we can always count on if we can create this rectangle with parallel sides and parallel tops and bottoms, then our diagonals will always measure equal. So a good way to check if you build any rectangular square, if you measure those diagonals, if they're equal, then that tells you that all of these corners, just like our three, four, five tri uh, triangle, all of these corners now are equal to 90 degrees. That's very important when we're building, we use it all the time. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.